Two kilometres to go until the top of this first Category 1 climb. And we take a look there at the group of nine breakaway riders. They are Mikael Scherel, Matthias Frank, Filippo Savini, Juan Orec, Alessandro Vanotti, Pablo Lastras, Jan Bakalens, Gio Visconti and Yaroslav Popovic trying to close in on them. Making a drive up towards this finish line. They all level out into the sprint. This is perhaps what we could expect here at the finish line as well. Matthias Frank is the man out in front just trying to drive things along. The BMC man's got a great turn of pace. He's pulled away. Jan Bakalens comes out alongside him. And it's Savini who's gone over first. In second place, I can tell you, coming through on the race radio, it is Matthias Frank of BMC and Bakalance coming over in the next place. Confirmation of those intermediate sprint points. Lastras with points and bonus seconds, remember, putting him ever closer to the pink jersey. Filippo Savini second, Jan Bakalance in third. Now then, Contador has punctured. Back on his bike. And it's all up to his team now to get him back into the peloton. It's a vital part of this stage. Now we're seeing a bit of decisive attacking at the front. Frank has got away. Bacalant is the only man at the minute who can follow him. Two riders then ahead with 15 kilometers to go. And Gio Visconti is going as well. The Sicilian, the Italian national champion, Peter Vaining, is struggling. The Malia Rosa looks as though it's going to go from Vaining today. He just waves on the car, and he is done. Frank leading Bacalantz and Visconti as Bacalantz is going to go again here. Attack off the front, and it comes in the size of the plucky little climber, Jose Rujano, from Androni Giocattoli. And Alberto Contador attacks. Now, this is what we'd hoped would happen. We didn't know whether it was guaranteed, but Contador is obviously feeling so fresh at the moment, as we saw demonstrated yesterday, that he's gotten great guns off the front. And is anybody going to be able to go with him? He almost looks as though he's grinning. Scarponi has him in his sights, and he's not going to let him go anywhere. Scarpo has gone with him, so it's two of them have gone. The question is here, where is Vincenzo Nibali? Everybody going into raptures here at the finish line, wondering where their man is. At the minute, there is no sign whatsoever. Two men have gone with him. Sibtsov, Garzelli, Kreuziger, all there, but no one apart from Scarponi has been able to respond to this attack. And Scarponi himself doesn't look as though he's too comfortable on getting back onto the wheel of Alberto Contador. Contador looks back, sees Scarponi, he's not as strong as him at the minute, and just steps on the acceleration again. There goes Rujano, can he stay on the wheel? He's fighting his best to stay with. Well, they've just announced that Nibali's attacked and the roars come up at the finish line. Arroyo is with him as is Garzelli. There goes Giovisconti, caught and dropped straight away. Contador once more out on the pedals. The minute Scarponi struggling to follow. Rojano is the only man that's going with the Spaniard. Scarponi is in difficulty here. And Contador is making great strides towards the pink jersey. But look at this. Jan Bacalantz is about to be taken in by the Spaniard. Well, this is better from the group behind. Scarponi slipping back and he needs this group to read him here. Scarponi then. In conversation with Nibali, what do we do? How do we get ourselves as a group back into this? Is Condor simply too good for us? Sits off though, is the latest to have a go. HTC man also is great opportunity to go to pink here. He's gone ahead. This is scarily good from Condor. Look at this. I mean, this is this is awesome. Absolutely awesome to watch. But just look at how fast Contador is going, but you can see by the sprinting idiot next to them that Contador's just cruising. Contador kicks again. Is Rahana going to be able to stay with him this time? It is tough work for the little Venezuelan, and I don't think he is going to be able to stay with him. And I think Contador is going to go for the stage win. Inside 1.5 kilometers to go to the finish line, and Rohana looks as though he might have been dropped this time. And it has been an epic performance.
Nibali inside 1600 meters decides to kick he's got to put his head down here and try and pick up some bonus seconds final turn in towards the finish for the Saxa Bank rider to post his first Grand Tour stage win at the Giro d'Italia and his first Grand Tour stage win in the Saxa Bank colors it is Alberto Contador the great champion who comes here towards the finish line to pick up stage nine on Etna and blow the general classification at the Giro d'Italia wide open Contador celebrates across the line Jose Rujano comes home in second place it's Gardelian in front the hairpin good turn of pace here from Nibali in towards the final finishing line here if Nibali can just slipstream and come out in front Nibali's pushing very hard indeed but Gardelli just holds him off Nibali coming home in fourth no bonus seconds then it's Kreuziger then Arroyo and then Kvitsov when he kisses the Maliarosa on this occasion that's what it means to him